morning. morning. Let's go. So I'm here to talk about the three levels of passion. It will get you to nirvana. And I'm going to tell you my story. And my story is like a little movie. So why am I here? I'm here because I have decided to devote my life, other than a bunch of other things, to doing good. Because I matter. I matter because I have a voice. And so do you, for that matter. And so we're going to talk through the three levels of passion. And before we get there, I'm going to show you some snippets of my life. So I was born in Pakistan of Turkish parents in the city of Karachi, 15 million people, watching crappy movies like this in the afternoons and throwing bottles at the screen because we could do that to show our displeasure of these crappy movies. Right? I won the lottery of life because I ended up going to a British school. That's a lottery of life. I won that. And I was granted with this education. And this education was allowing me to live life to the fullest with my friends, with my family, with my community at large in my city of Karachi. And there were these glorious days of sun-drenched cities. And then there was dictatorship. And in this dictatorship, it took us seven years to get a telephone connection, running water maybe every three, four days, and electricity that used to go out for 12 hours of a stretch every three days. Tough, tough, survival of the fittest kind of stuff. But then there are these nuggets of passion of people that are able to get you through the day because they believe in the good of life. Just let that guy, right? So you get through. You get through because you believe in the goodness of humanity, in the ability of yourself to articulate what you're here for, which is to do good. And in that good, you allow yourself to have some passion. And one of my passions is this, because I was fortunate enough Goal! That only happened once in my lifetime and I did it. I kicked the TV, almost broke my foot, almost cracked my head because I was celebrating so hard that I hit my head on the wall. But that's called passion. It's called passion and that's what got me into this country. I came to this country with only $200 in my pocket on a one-way ticket from Karachi all the way to the fair city of Minneapolis. I didn't know where I was. I didn't, I'd never seen snow in my life. I didn't even know I was going to an all-male Catholic school. Tough, tough, <laughs> tough. But I was befriended by the Benedictine monks, my mentors. And I was, became well-versed in the ways of stewardship, reflection, contemplation, the ability to want to do good, the ability to be able to take care of things, right? And then I landed up in the University of New Hampshire through trials and tribulations. And I saw this woman one day walking down, and I said, I think I'm in love. In order to show her my love, now this is in a dorm, I took out the university speakers from the dorm floors, including my own, and strung them out in my room, played the song 14 days straight, because she was taking classes in the building across. Now that led to a quizzical looks, hateful physical gestures, and all in out, how should I say, relentless ability on my part to ask her hand in marriage. Now she relented and we got married. Again, passion, right? You gotta have the passion. Now because of that passion, I also realized that Johnny Cash is God. He really is God. Truly, he is God. And uh, Frank Sinatra, old blue eyes, is the angel Gabriel. Between these two things, I became a Pakistani, Turkish, American, Christian, Muslim, mutt monk. And that's why I'm here. So how do we get to nirvana? How do we enable ourselves to do the things that you were meant to do? Well, you tell a story. Your life is a story. My life is a story. It's a movie. That's why I like movies a lot. And my movie started a long time ago with a friend of mine called Salman Afak, who's still my friend. And we used to go to the top of his house, top of his house. So as we were talking three stories, we were 14. And we used to look at the city, wide city over there. And we used to say, we are going to do something. We're going to do some good. And we used to put blankets around our necks because we believed we were Superman. Think of it. In a city that is done by survival of the fittest. You have two 14 year olds going, we want to do something. And so, 
you hear these voices in the middle of your brain saying things that allow you to propel yourself forward to go beyond to do good. Like this. Listen. They will race behind you. They will stumble. They will fall. But in time, they will join you in the sun. In time, you will help them accomplish wonders. You will help them accomplish wonders. Now, Salman Afak was crazier than me, so he launched himself off the roof and he broke his arm. <clears throat> I launched myself, I did not. <clears throat> and we did that over and over again, so you know, it's amazing we survived. But uh, incrementalism is not your future. It's not my future. There's enough cell phone, Facebook, Yahoo, Google apps out there. Do something in your life to solve a massive critical human problem. We have enough apps to last us a lifetime. Tackle a problem that you believe in and then you can make some change. So, in order to get there, you have to go through three levels. Three levels. And I'm giving you these gifts because they've been given to me. And along the way, you will screw up, hopefully you will not die, and be able to make something of yourself, just like hopefully I will one day. So first level, PR or mohabbat. In Urdu, that means love. So Urdu is one of my first languages. It means love. Love is what gets you through the day. So in order to do that, you, have, you guys have to watch this movie. After this is done, I don't care if you rip it, I don't know if you go to BitTorrent, Netflix, DVD, get it from wherever you gotta get it, you have to watch this movie. This movie is going to teach you how to love, how to give love, how to receive love. It's going to teach you that in love lies the clarity of thought. In love lies the clarity of direction. Because every time I watch this movie, I think to myself of how there were six of us a long time ago in college that took care of one of our friends for a whole year, bathed him, fed him, because he was in a wheelchair after a debilitating horrific condition for his spine. It's love. You do this for love. It's absolutely critical and important you do that. Second level. Now, after you love somebody and after they've given you and you've received love, you go to the second level. And the second level is yurek. You see? Turkish now. Turkish, second language. Yurek. Courage. You have to have courage. Now, I'm fortunate enough that I'm a CEO of a company where we're involved in some incredibly tough engineering challenges. And there are days when you just want to rip your hair out, paste it on somebody else's forehead, and say, I'm done. <laughs> right? It, it, you go through those, right? But there are three words that enable me to get through those challenges. And we're going to say those three words today all together. So, we all know this movie. We know those three words. We are going to say those three words together because you need to articulate. You need to give the voice, just like I do. And after you're done saying these three words with me, you're going to feel something hopefully different and blow the rooftops off. Also, we want us to make a point to your teachers. Right? So we're going to say those three words all together. Now, the key thing is he will look behind and ask for permission because that's what guys do, right? We ask for permission from my wives, right? <laughs> she nods. Madness. Madness. This, this is Sparta! <laughs> Felt good, didn't it? Didn't it? Come on, right? Got to get in it! And it's only this way you get to the third level, which assures you now nirvana, right? And that's belief, this absolute belief that you can accomplish something. I have an absolute belief that I am on this planet to do some good. I have an absolute belief that before I leave this God-given earth, I will do some good. I'll screw up plenty, but I will do some good. This movie called The Grey which I wish I had written, directed, produced, and be Liam Neeson's water boy. Other than that, it's a fairly trivial movie. It doesn't mean much to me. It's about a story of a man who at the end of the, end of the movie finds the meaning. 
whether of his life, the life of his friends, the demons, he finds meaning. And for me, that's incredibly, incredibly important because our lives are a combination of struggle, a combination of joy, a combination of being a witness. A long time ago, a good friend of mine said, we are witnesses to our own lives. So we are a witness. And in this being a witness, you are able to do the things you should be able to do. And I'm fortunate enough that I've done some of them. So, I'd like the lights to go on a little bit. Because we are going to do an exercise. In the tradition of John Keating and the Dead Poets Society, we're going to recite a poem written by Joe Carnahan of this movie. You're going to dedicate you saying this poem with me to your mentors, your teachers, your friends, your family, to the people who mean something to you, because I'm going to do the same. We're going to do this because we're here to do good. So I like the lights on so we can see each other, because it's important you see each other. Good. And we're going to say these words, okay? All together, with force, with conviction, with voice. Remember, it's all about voice, right? Voice. So, together, one, two, three. Once more, into the fray, into the last good fight I will ever know. Live and die on this day. Live and die on this day. Good. Good. So I'll leave you with something. Many, many years ago, my father gave me a ticket, a one-way ticket to the United States. It was at the airport. He gave it to me. And he said these words to me. Olum yolun achuk olsun. In English, that means, may your road be open. So I give that to you. May your road be open. Go kick ass. Don't let the nitwits of the world grind you down. Thank you.